Budo remind members of State Executive Council of need for effective service delivery. Chairman, Anambra Disability Rights Commission, is a Wuzia seeks government intervention to plight of persons with albinism in fighting cancer. Federal government expresses concern over deficit in fish supply. The foreign saying this morning dropped truck drivers' state protest in South Korea over rising cost of fuel. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround in Anambra State. Let's give him the maximum support for the task ahead. A very good morning to you and welcome to the news. I am Ebere Ugunna. Governor Chukuma Saludo has sworn in new members of the Anambra State Executive Council. Governor Saludo performed the function during the 12th and 6th meeting at the Estate Esco Chambers. Government House Correspondent A.G. Kabana has details. Those sworn in are Chief Anayo Nebe, Special Advisor, Legislative and State Assembly Matters, Dr. Alex Obiobolu, Special Advisor, Political Matters, Dr. Godwin Nadozie, Special Advisor, Medicals and Pharmaceuticals, as well as Barrister Rafael Nabife, Special Advisor, Local Government Affairs. This brings the total number of Special Advisors in Soludo's Cabinet to eight. The swearing-in ceremony, in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, followed the appointment by the Governor last Friday. The Solicitor General administered oath of office and oath of allegiance to the appointees. The person must declare his assets and liabilities and then take the oath of allegiance and the oath of office as prescribed in the seventh shadow of the Constitution. Whereas Mr. Governor, Professor Charles Tukuma Solubo, CFR, the Governor of Anambra State, has pursuant to the said powers appointed the following gentlemen. One, Right Honorable Anna Ayon Nebe to serve as Special Advisor on Legislature and State Assembly Matters. Dr. Ernest Obiogun to serve as Special Advisor on Political Matters. Dr. Godwin Nadosie to serve as special advisors on medical and pharmaceutical matters. Barista Rafael Asa Nabrife to serve as special advisor on local Formally welcoming the special advisors, Governor Soludo reminded them that their appointment is a call to duty with Project Anambra in mind, stating that it is expected of members of ANSEC to contribute in any way they can to make the state livable and prosperous. While calling on them to promote service delivery above self, the governor asked them to feel free to advise on anything that will help the advancement of the government of the day, expressing optimism that Anambra must win at the end. Our mission collectively is to ensure that none of our wealth of passage, generations of people have come and gone back to this state. We are now the people on this stage, and our common call and common mission is that in the end, we will be able to say we passed through here. That's our mission. And to our, our new uh, members, of this council. Um, you, I mean, as special advisors, who said that you can attend Expo. And um, uh, it's, it's up to you if you, uh, it's not uh, very mandatory, but it will be appreciated if you do attend Expo because a lot of the things that you may be advising on. From the Government House, Oka, AGK, Abana, ABS News. Of the Anambra State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Afam Obidike disclosed um, this when he went on inspection VC to the unit endoscopy as a non-surgical procedure used to examine a person's digestive tract. She was Okoyeha's details. Speaking to the ABS after inspecting the endoscopy machine, Dr. Obidika said that the machine could be used to diagnose tumors in the anus and stomach as well as complications of ulcer. 
The Health Commissioner thanked Governor Chukuma Saludo for the current revolution going on in the state's health sector and called on the Anambra and residents of the state to assess the facility in the hospital. Dr. Obidike pointed out that they are currently training health personnel on how to use and handle the machine for utmost performance and revealed that people will get the service at a very cheaper rate at all times. According to him, endoscopy equally helps to reduce the consumption of unwarranted drugs, which sometimes could be injurious to the patient. The commissioner had earlier visited the newly built medical oxygen plant at the hospital, surgical theater among others, where he expressed satisfaction with what is on ground and promised to fix few of the lapses noticed during the inspection. A number of state albinism association and sir, has joined their counterpart world over to celebrate International Albinism Awareness Day in Orca. The association held a sensitization and awareness rally to commemorate the day. Staff reporter Njideko Kui covered the celebration and now reports. The awareness commenced with a sensitization rally that took the association from Professor Dora Akunyili, Women Development Center, Oka, to Aroma Junction, through Unizik Junction, to Ekoka, and some other places where they distributed flyers and dropped messages such as, Albinism is not an illness. Albinism is not a curse. We are people born with special gifts. We eat salt and crayfish. Stop the discrimination, among others. Speaking to the members of the association after the sensitization rally at Women Development Center, Oka, the Anambra Commissioner for Women and Social Welfare, Honorable Ifio Binabo, who commended the association, encouraged them to see themselves as normal and equal being, thanking God that things have changed for good as their voices are now being heard. She assured them that the change they desire is coming, but reminded them that the change will start with them as they encourage and believe in themselves. Commissioner Binabo, represented by the Director of Women Affairs, Mrs. Hope Ekebose, urged parents to ensure that their children with albinism attend school to gain knowledge to defend their rights. As according to her, knowledge is power and charged them to work together as a body to achieve a common purpose. Don't ever see yourself as being different, as being vulnerable. When you are okay, I do okay. Let's see ourselves as equal. The persons with disability today are being heard, are being seen, and are being recognized, and are being given their rights. Now to believe that yes, the change you desire is coming, but then it has to start with you. In a remark, the chairman of Joint Association of Persons with Disability, Anambra State, Jonah Page, Comrade Ugochukwokege, appreciated the efforts of the leadership of the association for being proactive on matters concerning people with albinism, commending the Anambra State government for being the first and only state that has disability rights law and for giving them a sense of belonging. Comrade Okeke noted that the administration of Governor Chukuma Soludo is concerned with the affairs of the association and thanked him for giving them a capable commissioner advising the members to say no to any kind of discrimination among them. They should know that none of them will be created on this earth by accident. God knows what he want to use them to do. That's why he allowed them to be on this planet. So I want to encourage them to see themselves as persons with many abilities. They should not look down on themselves. They should not have any ill feeling about their color. They should be proud of their color. Because the problem they're having is that some of them are not proud of their color. So I want to urge them to be proud of their color. If they, if they are proud of their colors, automatically people will begin to appreciate them.
Presenting an address, the chairperson, Anambra State Albinism Association, Ms. Vivian Ezeonwumelo, thanked God for creating them with a special gift, Governor Soludo and Commissioner Obinabo for their unflinching support to the association, but regretted that persons with albinism suffer lots of ill treatment from either parents, guardians, teachers or members of the society and listed other challenges and needs of the association while appealing to the international community, government at all levels and other organizations to carry them along and involve them in the scheme of things. BWAs need every support to be fully functional in the society where they are. According to the quote of Helen Keller, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Therefore, in unison, we say, let our voices be heard. Others who spoke at the event include Chairman, Disability Rights Commission, Barrister Chukuka Ezeuzie, represented by Director of Administration of the Commission, Reverend Samuel Okolo, Director of Rehabilitation, Mrs. Antonia Obianyo, represented by Mrs. Bernice Uchendo. Woman Leader, Joint National Association for Persons with disability, Comrade Incheta, Wanokwara, and resource person Kalesta John, among others. The theme for this year's event was United in Making Our Voice Heard. Enoka Njideka Ukwe, ABS News. Meanwhile, the chairman, Anambra State Disability Rights Commission, Barrister Chuk says it was here, says he is optimistic that the state government will intervene promptly to persons with albinism plight and fighting skin cancer. Chibuzo Koe has details. Speaking to persons with albinism in Anambra State on the occasion of this year's Albinism Awareness Day celebration organized by Anambra State Albinism Association, and held at Professor Dora Kunyili Women's Development Center, Oka. Barrister Ezeuze noted that the team united in making our voice heard encouraged Abinos to be vocal through individual awareness campaign to people in their local areas in order to help change the myths and misconceptions about Abinism issues. Barrister Ezeuze regretted that a lot of parents do not know the roles to play in taking care of their children with Abinism and made skin cancer cut Abino's lives short, urging them to avoid hot sunshine and live a healthy lifestyle by avoiding those things that trigger cancer cells at all times. In her contributions, former Nigerian ambassador to South Africa, Ambassador Uche Ajolo, charged Anambra State Albinism Association to take the awareness campaigns to ministries of health, education, and other relevant agencies, both in the state and federal levels, advocating rights of people with albinism in the state. In Oka, this is Chibu Zokoye for ABS News. I'm moving on to our national stories now. The federal government has raised concerns about the inability to meet up 6.3 million metric tons demand for fish as the country only produces 1.2 million metric tons, leaving a wide gap of 2.4 million metric tons. All the federal government has been encouraging backward integration in the fishery sectors to improve local production and reduce importation. Nigeria still leads among fish important countries in West Africa despite abundant resources. The Director of Fisheries Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Ime Umo, lamented that despite the huge demand for fish in the country, they could only produce a 1. million metric tons from industrial and artisanal aquaculture sector. While mentioning that there are myriads of challenges confronting the aquaculture sector, Omo mentioned that they have been able to license 164 fishing vessels trapped in the Nigerian territorial waters. He also mentioned that a vessel monitoring system has been installed in Abuja and Lagos to monitor the activities of the fishing vessels. The director, however, disclosed that the ministry has collaborated with the World Fish to import genetically improved farm tilapia to improve the breed stock to be distributed to farmers. On the foreign scene, South Korea truck drivers have staged an eight-day of protest over rising fuel costs that have further snarled global supply chains with the government warning that actions had cost more than $1 billion in losses. 
The strike has disrupted shipment and production for the crucial steel, petrochemical and automobiles industries, causing about 1.6 trillion won in losses, according to data from Seoul's trade ministry. The industrial action is the latest headache for global supply chains already strained by prolonged COVID-19 lockdowns in China and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The drivers stopped work last week and have disrupted ports and factories in Asia's fourth largest economy as they protest against the ending of a minimum wage guarantee. It's even double. I commiserate with them, offer my deepest condolences, but then as I condole with them, I also say they should take heart. Others who spoke to the ABS include the President General of the Progressive Union, Chief Ikeme Funa Okona, the Eznifite CWO President, Mrs. Ndereka Umezungwa, some members of Umezungwa family, Mr. Emeka Umezungwa and Mrs. Tina Ezima, energized the charity life of the late Adabodu and prayed God to accept her soul in heaven. The funeral ceremony attracted over 20 bishops within and outside the state, over 500 priests, including the Anglican Bishop of Agwata Diocese, Most Reverend Samuel Ezofo, traditional rulers from various communities in the state, political stalwarts, among others. High points of the event were condolence visit by friends and well-wishers, Ijele masquerade display, dance by various band groups, among others. From Ezinifite, Aguata, local government area, Emengino Asarebe, ABS News. And that's it on the news this morning. But remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS for any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at ABS Television Oka. Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. Well, and just before we go this morning, a quick look at our major stories. Governor Saludo has reminded members of the State Executive Council of need for effective service delivery. Our chairman, Anambra Disability Rights Commission, is a Wuzi seeking government intervention to apply to persons with albinism in fighting cancer. Our federal government has expressed concern over deficits in fish supply. On the foreign scene, we brought to you that truck drivers have staged protests in South Korea over rising cost of fuel. Well, here's a special message again. Governor Chukuma Saluda has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the number state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's the size of our package this morning. Many thanks for joining the bulletin. I am Iberi Ugunna. Good morning. Our number continues shortly. Please stay with us. <laughs>